and this is Matt from the Intel XDK team. I'm going to walk you through a quick demo of how to get started creating your first app using the XDK. First, you'll need to download the XDK and sign up for a user account. The free download can be found at xdk.intel.com. This page also contains lots of great resources to help you get up to speed on using the XDK. Make sure the correct OS is selected, and then click the Go button to get your download started. After you launch the Intel XDK, either log into your account or register as a new user. Start your new project from the menu on the left by choosing a template, sample, or demo code base. There are standard HTML5 and HTML5 plus Cordova code bases to choose from. Let's start with something nice and simple, like the Hello World demo. Click on the Continue button in the lower right corner, then give your project a name, and click Create. After the XDK builds your copy of the project, you are presented with the code editor showing the index file for the demo that you chose. This is the Develop tab. Here, you can use the brackets code editor, or if you prefer, you can use your current code editor outside of the Intel XDK. In the left sidebar, you will find a list of working files, which in this case is your index.html and main CSS files. Next to the Develop tab, you will find the Emulate tab. Here you can see what your app will look like on a number of different devices. You can even change the orientation of the device. Oops, let me make a little more space for that. Okay, now, let's make a couple edits to the demo. If we look in the File Manager on my Apple OS X development system, you can see there are a number of project files that were created when the XDK made a copy of this demo on my system. Project files are located in the source directory, which in this case is the www folder. I'm going to drop this idea.jpg file into the images folder. Then, let's go back to the XDK. Looking around the main.css file lets us find where the background image is defined within the content style. I'm going to change the swoop.png, which was that blue background with the curved shapes, to idea.jpg, and save that change. Then, let's see how it looks on the emulate tab. Now, in the headline style, I better change the color to black instead of white. Yes, that looks better. And finally, I'll go to the index.html file and type in my own message. And let's have a look. Yeah, that looks good. Very simple. Now, go make something awesome. Keep in mind, this particular video only scratched the surface of the Intel XDK features. Explore our other video offerings for things like debug capabilities that are available in the emulator and debug tabs, multiple on-device preview and test features, and a build system you can use to package your HTML5 app for multiple app stores. Go have fun!